Hey guys, welcome to Ocraft, and we're going to be unboxing history, and we're going to be doing a different style than we usually do. We're going to try a game show style that we made recently, so let's get into the video. Hey guys, so we're going to be discussing World War II as you saw in the intro video, and I came up with a game last night. I think they'll make this more interesting and more fun. So, what they're gonna do is they're gonna spin the wheel and whatever it lands on, they will have to do. Now, what the, each one of these mean will be explained throughout the video as their contestants land on it. And I will be your host, so let's get our contestants up here. Hi! In that corner, hey. we have Lorraine! Woo, 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 woo. And this time, we have a... Wait, what's her name again? Uh, okay, yeah. Woo. Okay, now our contestants are going to spin the wheel. Now they're going to do a quick game of rock, paper, scissors to see who goes first. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Oh, mommy loses. Okay, Lauren's going to spin the wheel. Oh, that's a beautiful spin. It's going, it's going. Oh, one true and two false. So, I'm going to give you an object, your object, and you guys have to guess what it is. There are three scenarios I will give you. And you have to guess which one is true. It was used to get into the movies as a service pass, or it was used on parades for uh, for rank, or scenario three, given to people who volunteer to serve outside Canada. Would you like to answer? Uh, I'm going to say it's for ranking. Okay, what is your answer, Mike? People who volunteer to serve outside Canada. Ding, 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 that is correct! Mommy has a point. This is the General Service Badge. Canada awarded this badge to Second World War veterans who had volunteered to serve outside Canada. It was one of ways of showing the wearer had done military service. Okay, now it's Mommy's turn to spin the wheel and find out what's going to be it. Draw it! What I will do is I'm going to tell mommy what her object is, and then she's going to have to draw... Uh, she has to draw the object, and Lorraine has to guess what the object is. So, okay. mommy has her object, which I told her behind the camera. So, three, two, one, draw! It's a box? Something. It's a box. Uh, it's at a food box. A canteen. Comes with eggs. A computer. Why does an egg have computers? I mean, why does a computer have an egg? Um, it's a knapsack. And something that you put in your knapsack. I told her what the object is, and now she's confusing me. I don't get it. And that's time! So, what the object was is it was a food ration tin. Lifeboat ration tin. This tin of what we contained were part of an emergency supplies carried on a lifeboat or and life rafts. The supplies were meant to help sailors if their ships were sunk by the enemy or lost in an accident. The box of emergency supplies also included drinking water. Spin the wheel, alright? Now and then. So we're going to take an object out of our box and we're going to show you what it looked like back then and what it looks like now. Now what the person who spin the wheel has to do is it has to read a card, that an information card that was with the object. Many Canadians use small, affordable, and portable cameras such as this to record their wartime experiences. They, look, they took photographs of family and friends or of significant events and places. Unlike today, digital cameras, wartime cameras used the film that had to be developed in labs and printed out before the pictures can be seen. And as she demonstrated and show, 
All of our cameras are arranged neatly, from the left being the earliest of cameras, not the first camera, but the camera used in wartime, to some of the newest technology we have today, such as iPhones and other phones that we use to take photos. Thank you very much for that enlightening history, Lorraine. So now we're going to be having Mommy spin the wheel. Okay, it looks to be in the middle, but we're just going to decide to call it Call a Puppet. The middle. Get. Call the darn puppet! <laughs> so, Mommy spun on the wheel and she chose Call Up a Puppet, which is. Drum roll, please! Me. Hey! <gasps> hey! I have been tasked with being your comrade and. Helping you find out what is in box or whatever object is. Okay? Okay, Hector. What is that? I don't know. It seems like something somebody will wear. Oh, it looks so cute on you! Oh, it hurt my ear. Take it off, take it off, take it off. Oh. Ugh. What do you think it is, Hector? How does my ear look? Yeah, you're fine. Do I still don't have any? Nope. Okay, good. Okay. So, flying helmet. Aircrew from Royal Canadian Air Force and other British Empire Air Forces have wore helmet like during duration of war. Their helmet provides warmth and some protection against impact, sharp objects, and, well, yeah, just sharp objects pretty much. They were designed to support their equipment, including oxygen mask and headphones and goggles. You will label one man. Fine, you can put that on my head. Oh, what a... Handsome airman! I love it, Hector! He looks so great on you! Wait, wait, wait! Okay, gentle, this is a very uh, special artifact, so we're gonna be gentle. So, Hector, my turn. Can I tell you a couple of facts? Okay. Okay. Hector! Yeah. Ready? Okay. So, about this white helmet? A pilot hid in the picture is training. A pilot in training takes his place in the cockpit as he prepares for a test with his instructor at a base in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Have you been in Halifax yet, Hector? No, not yet. Now here is another pilot. Let's see if he looks as handsome as you do. Yeah, not even as half as handsome as I do. Okay, this is Sergeant Pilot R.M. Bennett, adjust the parachute of leading aircraft C.J. Ladosier. He's a student as they prepare for takeoff. Let's see. I think you look handsomer. Well, thank you. And one more. Hey, where'd you go? I'm not done. Biting my nail. No biting nails. Oh, uh, wow. Here, there are two Royal Air... Air Force fighter pilots turning towards a group of hockey hurricane airplanes in an airfield in 1940-1941. So... Hey, yes, yes, woman. Very, very interesting. Thank you very much, and thank you for helping me with this part of history, Hector. Thank you for calling me. Okay. Bye. Bye. Spin the wheel and take your turn. Woo! Okay, now she has a new segment called Act It Out. So, let's get into it. Lorraine will not be doing performing a skit. Everybody fight, come and buy your war stamps today. Everybody fight, come and get your war stamps today. So, Miss Canada Apron. The D straight apron was part of the uniform for Miss Canada's volunteers. These girls and young women helped raise money for the war effort by selling 25 cents war saving stamps to Canadians. 
As you can see, the apron contains many pockets, that way she could hold a, a big amount of stamps, plus change for people who want to, ex who want to exchange their money so they can buy stamps. Thank you so much for staying with us this long on the video. Now, I hope you've enjoyed how we've had this wheel of challenges and wheels of fun. Thank you. Bye. Oh, I didn't see you there. So, um, yeah, those people are crazy. So, if you'd like to see more videos, click here. And if you'd like to see other stuff, click here. And please, smash, smash, destroy that subscribe button right there. Bye.